Hi, this is Nina at Walla Stamping. Thanks for joining me today. This is the project that we're going to be making. This is another episode of Gift Tag Tuesday, and the gift tag that I have designed today is, as you can tell, designed with a child in mind. Now, this is a gift tag because you can attach it to a gift, but I feel like you could also give it as a small gift all on its own. It's got a to and from here, and I put um, a little reindeer on there, and this one I made a girl and put a little bow on its antler but the next one that I'm going to make and show you I will leave the bow off so you can see what it would be um, for a boy so I think that this would be an excellent idea if you have any children who are elementary school age and they have a Christmas party at their school this would be a great little gift for them to take and give to all their classmates so let's set it aside and I will show you everything you need to create this project First of all, you need a piece of real red. It's cut to six by three. A piece of our Candy Cane Lane Designer Series paper that will layer on top. It is five and three quarters by two and three quarters. Then for the little belly band, you'll need a piece of our craft cardstock. You could also use crumb cake if you would like, but um, you would probably want to change out the little deer because he's also cut out of the craft cardstock. So if you use crumb cake for the belly band, use crumb cake for for the deer as well. Um, so this belly band is cut to seven and a half by one and a half and you'll need another piece from the designer series paper uh, Candy Cane Lane that's cut at seven and a half by one and a quarter. Then you'll need a couple of scrap pieces for the to and from. This is some real red and you'll need a piece of that that's probably about um, two inches by one and a half and then a little bit smaller scrap piece of Whisper White to layer on top of that to make the tag. Now what I cut this out with is our tags, labels, framelits. For the Whisper White I used this smallest tag here and then for the real red backing I used this middle size here on this side. Then also um, you're going to want a couple of pieces of the real red stitched edge ribbon as well as and this is just cherry cobbler ribbon um, but it works with this because the only place that it is is right here and even though it's a little bit deeper red than the ribbon you don't really see it so it's okay to use it um, so let's go ahead and get the oh I almost forgot you're going to need some real red stamp um, some real red ink and I'm going to be using the cookie cutters Christmas and um, I'm using the deer and if you were to make it a female, you would want to use the bow and stamp that in the real red as well. And then also, I'm using just a white, no, that's not what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this. This is Stamping Up Chalk Marker to color in the antlers. So let's set that aside. And to punch out the deer, I'm going to be using the cookie cutter punch. Okay, so that's all of your supplies. Let's put this together. I'm just going to use snail and adhere this, these layers together. Just get that centered up like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my to and from on here with my real red ink. And get that put in place. Now I stamped it over here to the left just to make sure there's plenty of room to write um, who it's to and who it's from. Use some snail to layer these two pieces together. Then I also just use the snail to adhere that to the tag. No, I'm sorry, I told you a fib. You can use snail, but I actually used my dimensionals. If you don't want it popped up off your um, gift tag, then it's fine to use the snail, but I wanted it to kind of stand up off top of the card, so that's why I'm using the dimensionals. So I'm just kind of putting that in the lower right-hand corner. Um, next, you'll want to grab a candy cane, and I'm just going to use some glue dots to put that on there. But before I attach the candy cane, 
I'm going to go ahead and punch the hole in the top for my ribbon. And I have a heavy duty punch here. Not that you would need one for this because it is only a couple of layers of paper, um, but that's just what I have on hand. So that's what I'm going to use. And then we'll go ahead and put our ribbon in there. And I'm going to use the smaller of the two. Just thread that through that hole. And this is a little bit more than what you're going to need, but I always cut a little bit extra just so um, I don't have too little and then end up wasting my ribbon. Then I'm going to snip off a piece of that baker's twine that's the cherry cobbler. And I'm going to tie it in a knot on the back side and then trim that off because um, this is cherry cobbler and the ribbon is real red. I would normally, if I had real red baker's twine, I would tie this in a bow and do it on the front so that you could see it. But because it isn't the exact color I'm after, I'm going to tie it on the back. Then just trim these off a little bit shorter and I stagger the length so that the one in front is a little bit shorter than the one in the back. Now you can attach your um, candy cane. And so the way that I've done mine is I've just taken some glue dots and I put one up here at the top of the candy cane and then another one about middle ways of the candy cane and it's sticking to me instead of the candy cane and then I just kind of eyeball where I want it to go and just press it down and get that stuck then let's go ahead and get our belly band on I'll attach this to the belly band the craft cardstock belly band part with some snail and get that centered and then what you can do is just sit your um, gift tag on top of it and just give that a gentle fold over press it down and then do the same thing on the other side just like that then um, I'm going to take this out for a moment and I'm going to put some snail on here and I'm going to put a little bit extra just to make sure that it does hold together so and then this all being done, let's go ahead and tie our bow. Get that stuck on there. Get that pulled down pretty good and tight. Okay. Then I don't want these little tails to be sticking out a lot, so I trim those off a little bit shorter. And I'm um, going to want a couple of glue dots for the bow also. And I put the um, where the belly band meets around on the front so that on the back it would be plain and there wouldn't be a seam back there because all of this is going to get covered up with the bow and the little reindeer. So that's the reason that I put the seam of the belly band around on the front. And I'm just putting three bows, or three bows, three glue dots on there to make sure that bow stays stuck nicely. Okay, so now we're going to be using the little reindeer stamp. So let me grab it out of there and put it on a block and I'm just using my black basic black ink and um, I'm gonna just stamp it on a scrap piece of craft cardstock then I will take my chalk marker and I'm going to make the little antlers white. This is a step that you don't have to do. I just like the way that it looks so that the reindeer is not the same color all over. And if you had um, like maybe some early espresso stampin' up markers, it would be cute to do the little antlers in brown. Um, but I'm just gonna do mine in white. Then I'm going to grab a piece of red glimmer paper. And um, I have a quarter inch 
hole or circle hole punch, a quarter inch hole punch. And I don't know that this is still available um, or not. I would have to look and let you know. So I take that half inch circle and I just cut about a third of it off from the top like that. And then I'm just going to use another glue dot to attach this little red glimmer to his nose. Just like that. Okay, and get that stuck down. So there we go. There's our little deer. Then um, you're going to want to use the cookie cutter punch and get him punched out just by sticking that in your punch and getting, well, if it'll go in there, what in the world? Getting it lined up, and I probably should have, let me do this. My piece of paper wasn't long enough, so I'm just going to add a little piece of snail and stretch my paper out so that I can actually get it in there. All right, so here we go. Put the little reindeer in the cookie punch. Get everything lined up in there. And punch him out. Okay, so there he is. And if you decide to make the girl reindeer, the little bow punch is in here as well. If you wanted to put a bow tie on him, there's a stamp and a punch to do that with as well. Alrighty, so let's get this back over here. And I'm going to grab glue dots again. And put a couple on the back. Then stick that down to the bow. And just maneuver it around so that the seam in your belly band doesn't show. So there you go. That is the third week of Gift Tag Tuesday. And this one is a, a gift tag for a child. And like I was saying, it would be a fantastic thing for your children to take to their elementary school Christmas parties if they have one. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you will click in the link below it will take you to my blog where I will have um, the written instructions for this project and um, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments leave them in the link below or leave them below the video or you can leave them over on my blog at Wallace stamping.com. Y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.